a little bit iffy for a while till I finish studying and get the job. So I hope you all will be patient with me. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey guys, I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, but welcome back to my channel. Uh, to let you know what's going on, I've just been busy with studying for um, the job I'm trying to get because it's um, a job that I have to study for. I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but it's important because I need a job. But that's why I've been inactive lately and I've just been trying to take a break, but I'm glad I'm back and in this video today I'm just going to be showing you my updated makeup collection um, as because I'm getting a lot of acne recently so I'm trying to like detox from makeup a little bit but once I am able to do my makeup again I'll do it. But for this video I'm just going to be showing you my updated makeup collection. I've given away some stuff to my sister and I've gotten more stuff so it, it's just a little bit and I'm also going to be showing you inside of the palace and stuff like that so I hope you all enjoy this video and if you did remember to leave a like and and comment so I know what you want to see next as well as subscribe to my channel the ADD makeup addict the one you're watching and um also uh if you do consider subscribing and remember to tap the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first, I got some new makeup brushes and some sponges, but I'm not gonna... They're, they're, the brushes are soft and I like the sponges, but I'm not gonna focus too much on those. Um, some of this you've already seen and some of this I'm just gonna show you my new stuff as well. So, I think I showed this to you guys in one of my previous videos. I got this Air Spun Loose Face Powder. It's pretty good. And I like the quality of it. And it for its price, it's really good. Um, next thing, I'm sure I showed you because I remember clearly. Um, the next thing I got is this Natural Bronzer by Mermel. I got it in the shade uh, 022. I like the bronzer it's really nice for its price it's drugstore but it's good I also recently got this um, elf blush I like it it's it it's in the shade bright pink it's pretty on my skin and I like it as well so as you saw this is my setting spray it's pretty it's like you can get it at um, DDs or Ross it's really good for its price as I said with the other stuff and then I have this poreless face primer by elf um they, my only comment about it is it kind of smells like like medicine um but other than that it's really good and then I have this that I also got recently with the the um elf primer it is this Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one um I'm trying to get it to focus. The two-in-one foundation. There you go. Now it should. The light is better. The two-in-one foundation and concealer in the shade medium beige. I like it so far. Um, I've only tested it out once, but so far it's been good. Then I have. If I can get it out, I have my estate. Um, highlighter which I've showed you before is one of my favorite highlighters that I have but I got a new one so I'll show you that one in a second and then I also if I can get it out I also got this ColourPop one it's like a cream one and it's in the shade um, Super Shock and I like it I've only tried it once because I'm not much of a cream, uh, cream highlighter person so I'll keep testing it out if you guys want me to. Just let me know down below. Now we're going to move on to this. This is the new highlighter and blush thing I got. It's from Wet n Wild. So far I like it. It's really pigmented on my skin. So I have no complaints about it. So I like that one. 
And then I also got this contour palette. I like it so far. I'm still learning how to contour, but um, so far it's good. And then I also have my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. I like it so like it's really good for its price, as I said. And then I have my of course this old primer. Not it's not old. It still has some left in there, but it it was my holy grail for a long time. If you watched the past my past videos and then in this drawer if I can lower the camera a bit I have my holy grail mascara for a drugstore um it's really good um it makes it doesn't have I'm gonna say fallout because I don't know exactly what to call it but it it, it doesn't like want to blink by accident like it doesn't like leave a bunch of mascara under your eye um and then I have this BH Cosmetics BH Liquid line Eyeliner. I don't really use eyeliner because I don't know how to do like the wing, which is the one that I want to learn how to do. But it's very hard for me to learn, so I'm trying, but you'll see that in a future video. The next one I have is this Benefit Their Real Mascara. Uh, I liked it, but the thing is, is that it had a lot of fallout for me. I don't know if I was just putting too much on the brush or if it's just the mascara itself. So that's my only complaint. Then of course I have my eyelash curler. Then I have this Stella um, All Day Stay Waterproof Eyeliner. As the I have that other eyeliner, but I don't really use it because, as I said, I don't know how to do it. Like I use it to practice and stuff like that, but. Then I have um, my NYX Professional Makeup Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. I like it so far. I use it to, like, once or twice to make, like, my eyeshadow come better. Like, more, more showy. Not showy, but, like, it shows more. And then I have this new Maybelline. It's not new. It's not new, but it's new to me. Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Eyeshadow. So, I, I I tried it once, and it's okay. I like it. It's just, it has a little bit of fallout for me. Then I have this NYX Professional Makeup uh, Micro Brow Pencil. I like it so far. Um, it's it's pretty good. I used it, like, twice already, and it, I like it so far. And then I also have this L'Oreal Paris um Brow stylist, one well, you can't read it because my camera won't focus. But it's the brow stylist definer brow pencil. I'm trying to see if I can have you read it, but it's not working. So that's my eye drawer, and then I have this for um, stackable lip gloss by Sweet and Shimmer. I haven't tried it yet, but I will soon if you guys want. And then I have the Becca Glow Gloss in the shade Dahlia. I like it. I've tried it, that one before, and it's it's pretty good. And then I have this one, this Adesi New York All Day Lip Cream in the shade Beverly Boulevard. It's really pretty, especially for people with um, darker, like medium toned skin. Then I have some chapstick, and then I have some lip scrubs and a lip balm by Pink. And then, let me not knock over my stuff. Then I have this 88 Mutual Eyeshadow Palette by BH Cosmetics. I like it. I used it a lot, and I still use it when I can. When I do my makeup, I'll use it. I like it. It's pretty pigmented. And then I have this BH Cosmetics Nude Lips um, Lip Color Lipstick Palette. I don't know why it broke down here, but it's still good. I, I like the colors in it. My favorite one is this one right here. Here, let me open up so you can show it. You can obviously tell it's my favorite because it's like the one that's most used. And then I have... If I can get it 
Then I have this BH Cosmetics 6 Edition 120 color eyeshadow palette. I like it. I used it for a long time for my colorful sh like my colorful looks. It's you can tell because it's like really there's powder everywhere. But it's good as I said with the other BH Cosmetics palette. It's it's pretty pigmented. Then I have this Elf, I think it's Elf. I have this Elf eyeshadow palette and it doubles as a face palette as well. So I like it. I tried it once and it's pretty good. Then I have my favorite palette of all time, the Iconic London Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. And inside it looks like this. It's very used as you can see because it was my favorite thing for a long time. And then I have this new palette that I bought called the Color Fusion by Beauty Glazed. Um, I like it. It's pretty pigmented. I got it on Amazon for like $8 and it's pretty pigmented for its price. So I like that. Um, it has like all the colors that I would want to make like like a colorful look. So I like it. And then I have one more palette in this row, I think. It's the one by Full Cure. The full, eight, the, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's like a Valentine's Day palette, I call it, because it has like a lot of pink and red undertones. And then I have this Frior palette. I have this free or palette if I can open it. Ah. I have this free or palette, and inside it has these colors. It's like a dupe for the James Charles palette. Again, I got it on Amazon, and I like it. It's pretty pigmented. So, oh, and I got it for like eight dollars, so it's pretty good for its price. And then I have this Ulta Beauty eyeshadow palette. I don't know what the name of it is because it doesn't have it on the bottom, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't. It just has the names of the, the colors. And I like it. It's pretty good. Um, it's pretty pigmented as well. And then I have this Shani one, which my sister gave me. Um, it's pretty okay. It's not really super pigmented, but it's not like it's not pigmented. So, I don't know how to feel about that. But, yeah. And then I have this Blush to Go 4 Color Eyeshadow Palette, which is the one that I used for a long time before I got the e.l.f. one. So, I like it. It's really good. If you've seen my videos, you know that that was the one I used. And then I have the Midnight Affair 16 Color Eyeshadow Palette by BH Cosmetics. It's pretty good. So, I like it. And then I have the final one is this e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette and it's pretty good. I like the matte colors in it and I use them sometimes for my looks. Well, that's pretty much it for my makeup collection. So let's I'll see you back in a second. Alright, so we're back. I hope you all enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing my new makeup collection or my updated one actually. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all will consider subscribing if you're not already. I hope that you will also, while you're subscribing, tap the bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a new video so you don't miss one. Um, I'm gonna try and upload more frequently again, but as I said, I've been studying and I'm continuing to study. So my schedule is gonna be a little bit iffy for a while. So I, finish studying and get the job so I hope you all will be patient with me and I hope you all have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all next time bye